Hey guys, today we are going to be taking a look at how to install mods for Stardew Valley. Uh, we're going to be going through this pretty quickly, so just feel free to rewind if you miss anything. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments and I can get back to you to help you out. Or I'm sure someone else in the comments can too. But let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to just get any browser, doesn't matter, and go to this website. It is smapi.io. And I'll leave that in the description just to make it easier. So once you're on that website, you'll see something like this and you'll see a download button here. Um, unless you're watching this really soon after it's released, you're probably going to see a different version here, but no big deal. Just press download here for whichever version shows up here. It'll be the most recent one. And you're going to go to the direct download. All right, and now once you have this installed, you'll notice that it is actually a zip file, which depending on your computer and what you have installed, you might not have any way to open this, but no big deal. It's really simple to solve that issue. Um, if you go and right click this and you don't have any option for extracting the zip file, then what you're going to want to do is go to winrar.com and just grab the uh, latest version of WinRAR. This is just some additional software to help open files such as these that your computer may or not be able to open by default. So once you have WinRAR, um, you can go extract here, and this will just get all the contents from that zip file out. So now we actually have our SM API files here. And depending on what system you're running, you're going to want to click one of these three things. Uh, odds are you're probably not on Linux. So um, if you're on an Apple device, um, use the Mac one. And for me, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to open this file here. All right. And this opens up and it's really quick, actually. So first thing, it just asks, uh, where do we want to add SMAPI? Um, you're probably going to want to just go with one here. So type one and press enter. Um, unless you intentionally install the game somewhere else, this is pretty safe to just press choose one here and press enter here. Okay. And then we do want to install. So again, press one, press enter. Cool, and now it's installing at our location. And this is important, don't exit out once you see this screen text. We actually need this here. So it says SMAPI is installed. And if you use Steam, set your launch options to enable achievements. And what we want to do actually is take everything here. So including the quotes, that tripped me up at first, but we are going to start at this first quote all the way to that last percent sign on command. Control C that. And now we're going to head over to Steam. Okay, so find Stardew Valley on Steam in your library and right click it. And then we're going to want to go to launch options. And I already have this in here, but um, your launch options will look like this for you with it just being empty. And we're going to take this that we just copied and pasted from that uh, terminal and we are going to paste that into our launch options. And then you can just exit out. Automatically saves, don't worry about that. Just exit out once that's pasted in. And there you go, that is SMAPI. So now we are actually ready to install some mods. All right, and now to actually install some mods, first thing we're going to do is go to nexusmods.com and I'll leave a link to this as well, just to make it easy. But then if you don't have an account on here already, register for one, or in my case I do, so I'll just log in. All right, I am logged in, and now all we have to do is just find any mod that we want. So let's just do CJB Cheats Menu. I already have this one downloaded. We'll download it again, though. This is one of my favorite mods, so good example one to have here. So click on the mod that you want to install, and we're going to click the manual installation over here. Cool. Press download. And we can go with the slow download. Just give that a few seconds here. All right, and now that this is downloaded, we can go ahead and actually install it. So head back to Steam, go to Stardew Valley, right click it, go to Properties, and we want to be on the Local Files section of Properties here. So Local Files, then press Browse, and you should have your local installation of Stardew Valley come up. So this is where Stardew Valley is installed on my computer. And you should see a folder called mods here. 
Now, if you don't, just press play on Stardew Valley once, and this will kick off SMAPI and hopefully get this folder created for you. But once you see this folder, open it up, and let's take that mod that we just installed, and we're going to drag it into this folder. Cool. And again, this is actually another zip file, but we should have the software to handle this now, so we can go ahead and extract it. And go ahead and delete the zip file. Don't need it anymore. Our mod is now installed here. And to make sure that everything worked, go ahead and press play. And you'll see a terminal come up that you probably haven't seen before. Uh, don't worry, this is a normal part of installing the mods. Uh, you can go ahead and press enter here. Sometimes it doesn't automatically like prompt itself. So if it's just stuck on a blank screen there, just keep pressing enter, it'll load. And you can see this is SMAPI just going through its process, making sure mods are loaded in. All right, and there's Stardew Valley, and I'll get back to you one second, and we'll make sure that that actually installed. All right, it just opened up a new save, and if I press P on my keyboard, there we go, that's our mod. So I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and if this helped you out, don't forget to subscribe, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.